A religion of peace. Is Islam really a religion of peace as they claim? Recently, I was exposed to this religion of peace in a very personal way. I was told I was an infidel. And as Islam teaches, death to all infidels. I'm going to play you that chilling phone call I received, threatening my life numerous times. This is a program you don't want to miss. This is what Islam is really all about. Stay tuned this edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. And don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there for you. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Monday morning. Start another week of programming. I'm so glad you've joined us. Of course, we air right here on my TV8 every Monday through Friday, 7 to 7.30 a.m., Please tell all your friends and family about this program. It is unlike anything you will see on television. Unfortunately, we've been front page news for the past few days, not for a good reason, but we're going to get into the whole controversy of the death threats I received last week. I'm going to actually play you the phone call I received so you can hear it for yourself. And we're going to talk today about this religion of peace known as Islam. Is it really a religion of peace? Or is it really a religion of oppression, hatred, violence, and death, as their 1,400-year history clearly illustrates? We're going to get into all that today. You don't want to go anywhere. I'm so glad you've tuned in. Of course, I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. I would encourage you to come check us out, www.liveprayer.com, all one word, liveprayer.com. When you get to the main home page there, please go to the left menu bar and you will find a devotional sign-up link. Click on that, put your email address. You will then be added to a little over 2.4 million people worldwide who get for free the daily devotional I've written every morning for over 11 years now dealing with all the issues of the day, the issues that people deal with in their lives, and from a biblical worldview, though. So get that daily devotion. I know it will be a blessing to you and your family. And, of course, if you need prayer for anything, uh, hit, on the, hit the prayer request link. Our uh, team of over 700 retired pastors who work with me respond to over 40,000 incoming emails for prayer every single day. That's what this ministry is all about, praying for people, helping people through their times of need. And, of course, there's a lot of need out there right now with the economy and a lot of the things going on in the, in the job market, the housing market. And uh, we're here. We're here to be a blessing to you in your time of need. So please check it out. Lots of great, unique content on LivePrayer.com that you won't find anywhere else on the Internet. Much of it changes daily. Check out some of our great video features Got some audios of my appearances on the Howard Stern program. Just a lot of interesting content that will, I believe will be a blessing to you and be a blessing to your family. So please check it out. Of course, I just got back late last night from New York City. Each weekend I fly up to New York to conduct the services at our 9-11 Christian Center. You can also access that website through LivePrayer.com. And it's got a lot of great links to tell you about the truth about the religion of Islam and a lot of the things going on at our Christian center in, down, in, in the financial district of New York down by Ground Zero. We're holding Sunday meetings at the New York Marriott by Ground Zero, 11 a.m. every Sunday through the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, we will literally have a, we'll have a permanent center set up by Ground Zero, services seven days a week that I know are going to be a blessing to the people down in 
down in New York City. And I believe we're going to see revival in that great city, a revival that's going to spread across this nation. This ministry, while some call it controversial, is really about one thing, seeing people come to faith in Jesus Christ and helping people understand that there is truth in this world that guides our lives. And when we follow that truth, life works. When we live in rebellion to that truth, life falls apart. We're here not only to lead people to faith in Christ, but to be a blessing to people, bring that truth into the marketplace. That's why this program only airs on secular stations around the country and always has and always will. I'm not about preaching to the choir. I'm not here to raise money to buy a new jet plane like so many of these TV preachers you see. I only care about one thing. I care about your soul first and foremost. I care about being a blessing to you in your time of need that we all go through in life. So check us out at livefur.com. Check out the website for the 9-11 Christian Center. Be praying for our efforts in New York. By the way, let me just, I've got a very short video that I want to play for you. And it really gives the vision of the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero that we opened on September 5th. And I'd like you to look at that video right now, and I'll be right back. I'm Bill Keller, founder of liveprayer.com. Recently, it was publicized that the Muslims would be building a mosque at Ground Zero. Let me make sure you understand that this was a purposeful and premeditated act. This is not an accident. They already have many mosques in New York City. This was done in a very well-orchestrated way. This mosque at Ground Zero will be a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years, 9-11, 2001, when their Muslim brothers flew those planes into the World Trade Center towers. More of their Muslim brothers went into the Pentagon. Others headed to the Capitol were courageously ditched in the fields in Pennsylvania. But make no mistake about it, this mosque at Ground Zero is a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years. It will be a place where they will teach this generation, future generation of Muslims, how to hate this nation, how to turn this nation into a Muslim land, which is their ultimate goal. They will teach people Sharia law, the law that Islam is governed by all over the world. What is our response as Christians? I thought and prayed hard about this. I decided that why hold another rally, another protest march, that a few hours after it, over, it was over, everybody would go home and forget about it. Nothing would change. I realize there are many great efforts to try to stop this mosque from being constructed. And while I pray they're effective, and while I pray that they will be successful, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Muslims, with their massive amounts of money, will be ultimately victorious. This mosque will be built. We don't need another protest. What we need is a bold, visible response to what the Muslims are about ready to do at Ground Zero. That response is the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We aren't going there with swords. We're going there with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is like Elijah on that wonderful day where he invited the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel and said, let's see whose God answers by fire. Today, I issue that same challenge to Imam Faisal Raul, the imam of the Ground Zero Mosque. You bring your false god, I'll bring the god of the Bible, and we will see which god answers by fire. Phase one, we will hold services every Sunday, starting September 5th at 11 o'clock through the end of the year at the New York Marriott, right by Ground Zero. As of January 1st, we'll move into our permanent facility at Ground Zero, where we will hold evangelistic meetings seven days a week. We will have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for visitors to Ground Zero and those who work in the financial district, those who live in, in that area to come and pray. 
I know that as time goes on, the Muslims will try to silence me. They will try even to kill me. But the gospel won't be stopped. And I need you to help me today. I need you to stand with me. Many people are outraged by what is about ready to happen at Ground Zero. And people say, how can my voice be heard? You can stand with me and the 9-11 Christian Center. Go to my website, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar, click on the donation link. There is a secure server there where you can give via a major credit card, you can give via PayPal, or you can just drop a check to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can take a stand against this mosque, a meaningful stand, a stand that not only is going to is going to drown out the lies of Islam, but it's going to lead souls to faith in Jesus Christ. I believe it's going to spark a revival in the city of New York, and I believe it's going to turn this nation back to God and His truth. Please, stand with me today. Your voice can be heard. You can make a difference. The 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero is the answer to this mosque and for this nation. I'm Bill Keller. And welcome back to Live Prayer. That's the 9-11 Christian Center. Be praying for us and pray about helping me as we take a bold, courageous stand for Christ right at ground zero, standing not only against the false religion of Islam, but against all the lies of this world that lead the souls of men to hell. That's the 9-11 Christian Center. We've got our first break of the morning. When I come back, I am going to play for you the chilling phone call I received threatening my life numerous times. You'll hear it for yourself. And I want to talk to you this morning about this so-called religion of peace called Islam. Don't go anywhere. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer, and I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the, where the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian center within a block of ground zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open this center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, and just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server so you can make a gift with your major credit card or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen. In the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center your gift will go to this great undertaking. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the Trade Center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people.